travel across America with me. And we're going to Multnomah Falls, one of the best things to see near Portland, Oregon. It's one of the best things to see in Oregon. And if you're in Southern Washington, you'll want to go there. We will be taking exit 35 at a speed of 35 miles per hour. We are headed to Multnomah Falls, but there's so much more to see along historic Oregon U.S. Route 30. It's drizzling, of course, it's Western Oregon. It makes it perfect. This is going to be an experience for all of us. I wanted to share it with you in this action-packed video. But first, I see a waterfall. It's Horsetail Falls. You're going to get wet from either the mist, from the waterfall, or from the falling rain. It's okay. Your shoes are gonna get muddy too. At each of the falls, there are trails that go behind them, around them, and to them. There is also an information board at each stop. I told you it was going to be muddy. Simply magnificent. We are in the Columbia River Gorge National Scenic Area. How powerful. Wait till you see Multnomah Falls. You're gonna flip. Be sure to hit the like button. This is the most captivating scenery. Look at this historic road and the moss on the trees. Unbelievable. I like how this sun, well, what little sun there is, shines on the moss. What's next? It's a tunnel. There's a tunnel on this road. Uh, I think the tunnel's closed. We're going to be walking through the tunnel. Isn't this quintessential Western Oregon? This is the Ani Anta Tunnel. This is Anianta Gorge and the Anianta Bluff. It presented an obstacle to engineer Samuel C. Lancaster. In 1913, it stood in the way of constructing his Columbia River Highway any farther east. The railroad occupied the only available land skirting around the formation. What was he to do? Lancaster devised a successful plan to stabilize the dicey rock. By late spring of 1914, the tunnel was completed. It was bypassed in 1948 and filled with rubble, and it was reopened in 2009. That's wonderful. It was fun to walk through this tunnel. The Ani Ante Gorge. This is a festival of green. There's nothing like this scenic byway. Next stop, Multnomah Falls. Yep, it's the next stop. There is so much more I want to show you besides Multnomah Falls. So keep watching. I think I might be saving the best for last. Captivating scenery, amazing trees, sharp curves. And we can catch a glimpse of the Columbia River from this vantage point. Next up, Multnomah Falls. We have to pay to park? Really? I didn't know that. I found out later. This is a new thing, having to pay to park. Look at this house. I think that's the visitor center. And I heard you could get ice cream in there. Is there a place to park for free? I'll tell you in a bit. I'll actually show you in a bit. But you will want to park here, and I'll tell you why. Let's get out and explore. The drizzle is making this all the more fun. Multnomah Falls, Columbia River Gorge, National Scenic Area. The highlight for most. Move! Remember, you will want to hang on all the way to the end to experience the Vista House. Please be sure to subscribe. Welcome to Multnomah Falls, our nation's second highest year-round waterfall. You are here, there's all kinds of hikes around here. Some look pretty steep. And how did they get up there? I want to get up there. I really want to get up there. If those little kids can get up there, I certainly can get up there. It just can't get any better, can it? You'll have to watch the whole video to see, yes it can.
okay, the gate's open, we can go on up. Oh, it's only two tenths of a mile to get to the bridge? Yay! We can go to the top of the falls, one mile. Oh boy, please stay on the paved trail. These trees, absolutely. There almost aren't any words to explain it. We're getting there, we only have two tenths to go. Ice alert. Blue shows freezing. Oh, well, it looks like it's uh, tipping that way. It doesn't feel that cold out here. I'm supposing that fence is to keep us out of there and limbs and falling trees and rocks from hitting us. <gasps> We're getting closer. The rocks are rolling. Yes, I think that the rocks are rolling. The falls are visited by over 2 million people each year. It is one of 77 waterfalls on the Oregon side of the Columbia River Gorge. The water flow varies, but it is most spectacular in the winter and spring when at its fullest, the falls plummet 543 feet to the under plunge pool, descending another 69 feet, plus an additional 8 feet in between to a total of 620 foot fall. Looking back where we were, do you see the car? Do you see why you want to park close? More of the historic Columbia River Highway next. I'm getting drenched, but it's okay. It's worth every drop. Wow. Yes, we're here at winter spring at its peak. When you say these are some Kodak moments, simply wow. Regularly scheduled trains and steamships filled with tourists navigated up and down the gorge and Multnomah Falls soon became a favorite attraction. And you know what? It still is in the 2020s. Down the trail, we need to get to the information center before they close at 2 p.m. The Forest Service has some great exhibits. Uh, look at this bear. Wake up. We made it just in time to get our passport stamp. Want a snack or ice cream? We followed the creek around and through this tunnel because we saw people walking through this tunnel. Where's the tunnel taking us? Oh, to the free parking from I-84. If you have time, you don't want to park off I-84 because you don't have access to the historic Columbia River Highway. If you have a half a day or a whole day, you will want to do the entire highway and all the falls like I'm going to take you to in this video. What's next? Okay, another parking lot must mean some falls. The Joaquina Falls. Simon Benson, a lumberman and philanthropist, originator of ocean-going log rafts, sponsor of the Columbia River Highway, benefactor of Benson Polytechnic School, and donor of the Benson Track containing Multnomah Falls, Joaquina Falls, and Benson State Park. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Joaquina Falls. Thank you so much for watching so far. I have so much more that is beyond belief. Keep watching. This is such a great outing for everyone. Take an umbrella. I wore a jacket with this hood, but it was getting drenched. What's next? Just this drive is worth it. Quintessential Western Oregon. Oh, here's one of the few entrances to I-84, but be careful, they're not always going eastbound or westbound, like this one only goes westbound, but we're going left to the Vista House. Historic Columbia River Highway, Oregon Scenic Byway, Oregon at its best. Just take it in, it's amazing. Shepherd's Dell, presented to the city of Portland by George Shepherd in 1915. This was the coolest trail. I really thought I was going to run across a troll. Do you think I did? Here's a sneak peek at Shepherd's Dell. The trail to it was just as good as the waterfall. I'm not even sure how that was possible, but it was. I promise you, look at this. Be sure to hit the like button. Where is your favorite waterfall?
tell me in the comments below. As I just said, this trail is beyond belief. And the greenery, it's breathtaking. It, it, I'm dumbfounded. Are you enjoying this? I hope so. I'm enjoying it for sure. I think this is my favorite so far. Really? There is another waterfall? Please be sure to subscribe. And if you have, thank you. And if you haven't, could you do that right now? Thank you. Let's get back to the car. There is so much more to explore. Guy Talbot State Park. What's next? Well, we're not doing that trail. It says it's closed. Okay, can we get to the waterfall? What waterfall is this? Oh, the Loot Trail Falls. And another captivating trail. I think this is the best time of year. Maybe fall could compete, but how do you beat this? This trail is beyond belief. Two more quick stops. The Latrell Falls, don't you think that the rock behind the falls is just as captivating as the falls themselves? Let's get back to the car. There's so much more to explore. Where are we heading now? Is this the grand finale? We're on the historic Columbia River Highway, 1960. Isn't that the cutest little car? Marshall Dana, a tireless leader in Columbia River development, park enhancement, preservation of scenic beauty, establishment of Vista House, recreation of the Lewis and Clark Trail. Oh boy, I am a Lewis and Clark fan, big time, and countless other good works. He left his mark on the Oregon country, and we are better for his having lived among us. Thanks, Marshall. The Vista House, Crown Point State Scenic Corridor. Crown Point is a registered national landmark, and this is Crown Point's Vista House. Samuel Lancaster, Chief Engineer, Scenic Columbia River Highway, the pioneer builder of hard surface roads. His genius overcame tremendous obstacles, to say the least, extending and replacing the early trail through the Columbia River Gorge with a highway of poetry and drama. That's a great way to put it, so that millions could enjoy God's spectacular creations. Thanks, Sam. Vista House. The classic symbol of the Columbia River Gorge, Vista House beckons travelers to Crown Point to revel in an extravaganza of water, cliff, and sky. Lancaster envisioned this outcropping as the ideal site for a rest stop and observatory where the gorge could be viewed. The structure is faced with ashlar cut sandstone. The interior walls are Alaskan Tolkien marble and Kosoda limestone. The Vista House was dedicated on May 5th 1918 to the memory of Oregon's pioneers. Well, that's a great thing. It is to be simply a great rest house for the sightseers traveling over the wonderful road and which also place from which can be had the most beautiful view on that great scenic highway. Mission accomplished. This is the Western Gateway to the Columbia Gorge. Let's head downstairs first. We found this quilt that was made by a young girl while traveling on the Oregon Trail in 1845. Nice! And this little Vista House model was created by Ken and Janet Morgan. These information boards are filled with so much information and photographs about the gorge, the historic road, the waterfalls, and of course, Vista House. Vista House Tunnel Gallery. It's filled with photographs of Crown Point and the Vista House. There's also memorabilia from different events held there. It's only open Friday through Monday, 9 to 5. So pay attention to that when you plan your visit. The balcony, wow, we've got to go up there now. Be sure to hit the like button. Look at the views of the Columbia River. Simply magnificent. Vista House, a worthwhile stop on the historic Columbia River 
Highway. We are almost finished. I want to show you two more spots real quick, I promise. Portland that way, Multnomah Falls the opposite way. Well, we've already been to Multnomah Falls and we don't want to go to Portland, but we do want to get to I-84. Nothing like the scenic byway, the historic Columbia River Gorge Highway. It just can't get any better. I see the interstate back on I-84 soon. We're headed to the Dalles, so we need to go the direction of Hood River. Remember I mentioned you can reach Multnomah Falls from I-84? Here is that exit for those of you who only have a brief time to stop at Multnomah Falls and hit the free parking. It's exit 31 off I-84. If you can't stop, you can catch a quick glimpse of Multnomah Falls. Hiking boots on the ground and classic road trip. The last place I wanted to show you, the Columbia Gorge Hotel. It's found in Hood River. It preserves the jazz age elegance. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Please post a comment below and share my videos with your friends and family. Have you subscribed yet? If not, please do. And if you are a subscriber, thank you.